Hey guys, Chris with Tillman Family Farms. Um, we are getting two new cows. Um, they're older, they're girls, they're bred. Um, and these are coming from a friend of ours farm that uh, they're going a different direction. They're doing some different things. So they asked, would we take them? And of course I said, yes, uh, they're bred from a much, much smaller breed bull. Um, it's actually a breed that I'm not even really familiar with, but I'll try to get some of that information from her when she gets here. But I, uh, I've tried to move some cows over. I got a couple of scragglers. And then um, once we get them over, she should be here anytime with truck and trailer. And we're gonna back them in. We're gonna put them in our working corral for a few days, let them know that this is where their home is, feed them there and all that good stuff before we turn them with a herd. This is gonna get uh, them to have an opportunity to meet the herd through some uh, panels there. So we don't have any craziness tearing up fences and things like that. So let's see how this goes. And they are here. She's gonna back that thing right down into where we're gonna be unloading. <laughs> all right so story time so the red cow right there is red angus uh, she was born without a tail uh, so the mother rejected her so uh, our friend uh, Teresa Harrelson she uh, bottle raised and you know they brought her up claustrum like you know like literally nobody was paying any attention to her the black and white um, I'm not sure the full story on her, but she's a little spooky right this minute. She's she's not quite sure what's going on. She's been roughing up the panels a little bit. She wants to immediately be set free, and and uh, we need for her to uh, calm down for a few days where she's at before uh, we get into letting her go with everybody else. But we're going to hang out and make sure that, that nobody decides to sure enough bust anything down because they sure can if they want to. Um, and uh, hopefully everybody calms down and settles in. So we've always had pretty good luck with cows when we bring them in like this, uh, not just dumping them out in the pasture with the herd. Uh, we will confine them for a little while, let them know that, that nobody's here to herd them and, and uh, kind of let them settle in and realize that this is their home. And um, normally we'll do that for a week to two weeks, depending on how they act. Um, one of these, this red Angus right here without the tail, um, she is very, very docile. She'll let you come right up to her. She's almost been somewhat of a pet for them. She said that the calf she had this year drug her down pretty bad. So, um, you know, like I said, they were going in a different direction. So that's why they asked if we would take these cows, which, which uh, we were glad to have them and we appreciate it. Um, but keeping them in here for a while is gonna keep them safe. It's gonna hopefully keep our fences safe and um, they'll sell right in and, and eventually when we let them out with a the herd, they will just fall right into place. I keep backing off a little bit further and further. Of course, this, this is this working set behind us. I keep backing off because the, the black and white cow, she's, uh, she is not very excited about what's going on here. Um, and, and she keeps eyeballing me with a little spooky look in her, in her eyes. So um, I've backed off a pretty good bit to try to give her some room and, and uh, maybe over the next week or so, we can get to know one another a little bit. Well, these two seem to be calming down a little bit. Um, got them water trough in there. Uh, fish go get some extra hay. Go ahead and put in there with them. But they seem to be calming down. And all of these guys over here, of course, that's the bull. He was checking out his, his uh, new girlfriends. But um, everybody over there seems to be calming down. 
little black and white girl there she she seems to be calming down for good so looks like everything is going to work out just fine so guys that's going to be it for this one uh added two new uh cows to our herd uh one is bred for sure black and white girl there is bred for sure so We'll see um, soon enough what we get from her, but we really appreciate those guys donating to us and, and uh, letting us take care of those and take them off their hands so that this guy can have a couple new girlfriends. But anyhow, we appreciate you guys watching more than you know. Love y'all. If you don't mind, please go down and like and subscribe, and we will see you on the next video.